Sandy Bridge is Intel's next generation microarchitecture. Succeeding to Halem is the engine driving Core i7, Core i5, and Core i3 desktop CPUs. Even more so than its predecessor, Sandy Bridge emphasizes integration. Execution cores, memory control, PCI Express, cache, and graphics now live on a single piece of silicon. Of course, the benefit of packing so much logic onto one die is fast communication between the various subsystems. We're seeing Sandy Bridge-based CPUs delivering notable performance gains compared to Intel's previous generation parts in our revamped 2011 benchmark suite. Although the most complex second-gen core CPUs are composed of nearly 1 billion transistors, 32 nanometer manufacturing allows for higher base clock rates than older 45 nanometer parts, plus a more aggressive implementation of Turbo Boost that accelerates frequency for longer durations, exceeding TDP for short bursts. Optimizations to Turbo Boost extend beyond the CPU. The on-die graphics engine, which shares the processor's thermal ceiling, can also be sped up in response to demanding 3D workloads. In those situations, Intel's power control unit is smart enough to favor the graphics core. While all-around performance gains are certainly nice, we're most impressed by Intel's QuickSync video pipeline. Dedicated fixed-function logic able to speed up video encoding well in excess of anything we've seen from AMD or NVIDIA. If Sandy Bridge has one secret weapon, this is it. Intel's new desktop lineup breaks compatibility with LGA 1156, requiring a motherboard upgrade based on the P67 or H67 chipsets. However, performance gains are evident in our testing, and as an increased number of ISVs optimized for quick sync, that might become a big enough reason to upgrade.